Hello everybody, I am gonna show you how to set up your time box with your MIDI keyboard. Hey everyone, today we're gonna be going over how to set up your talk box inside of Logic Pro using software instruments. This means that you don't need a hardware synthesizer to be able to use a talk box. I've had a lot of requests for this video, so here it is. There's a few things that you're gonna need before you start, so let's go over those now. So obviously the first thing you're gonna need is your talk box. You're gonna need your MIDI keyboard. You're gonna need your audio interface. And then you're also gonna need a quarter inch instrument cable. All right, so once you have those things, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is connect your power to your talk box and then connect the quarter inch cable into the input on the talk box. You're gonna wanna make sure your MIDI controller is connected to your computer. And then the other end of this quarter inch cable is gonna go into the headphone jack on your audio interface. So what you're gonna wanna do is turn down the monitor and then turn up the headphone jack. If you don't have a focus right, try to follow along. I highly recommend you get a focus right. Another thing is if for some reason you don't have an audio interface, you can use this 3 8 to quarter inch male to female adapter and you can plug this in straight to the headphone jack on your computer and one end of the instrument cable will go into the talk box, the other end will go into here and this end will go into the headphone jack on your computer. And I don't really like using it this way, I think connecting it to your audio interface is a little bit better, but if you don't have an audio interface, this is the other option as well. So now you have your talk box set up, you have your MIDI controller set up, the talk box is connected to the headphone jack on your audio interface and your headphone volume is turned up. And now you can go ahead, mine's already on, but you can go ahead and turn on your talk box, turn up the volume, uh, you can mess with the tone and gain settings. So now the next thing we want to do is actually open up Logic Pro. What you're going to want to do is open up a software instrument called ESM and it's a synthesizer. You're going to follow along with these steps to get the right talk box patch. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure it's on 8. You want to make sure this mix is all the way down. You're going to want to make sure you have a little bit of glide. You don't want it all the way up here. You probably want it somewhere around there. Cut off all the way up. Resonance all the way down. This stuff, all this stuff here is turned all the way down. Volume turned all the way up. Decay turned all the way up. Uh, whatever this is, turn turn up that down. Overdrive, you want that turned down. And then you should get a pretty decent talk box sound. So let's hear it. Whoa, baby, baby, baby. All right, that sounded pretty good. This is a pretty basic talk box patch right here. Um, I actually really like this one. And what you can also do, click on here where it says factory default, click on this little down arrow and then you can actually save as and then you can save this as talk box patch there we go and then now even if you click on something else let's see even if you click on analog base one and it changes you don't want that you can always go back and find your talk box patch california knows how to party California. All right, so that is how you get your talk box to work with your MIDI keyboard using Logic Pro. You don't need you don't need a hardware synthesizer for this or anything. Another big question that a lot of people have asked me, a ton of people have asked me, is how do I record the talk box? Because a lot of people, what's happening is they'll have this, they'll, they'll set up their talk box just the way I showed you, and then they will try to record it, so they'll open up an audio track and connect their microphone, and then they get this horrible feedback. Um, I'm gonna make a whole video on this, so if you guys have stuck around this far in the video, I think you guys deserve to know how to do this. So you'll have your talk box right here, open up in this instrument channel, and then you're gonna wanna open up an audio channel, connect your microphone, and then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna mute the audio, and then press record enable, and then you're gonna wanna enable input monitoring. And then you're also gonna wanna press record on the talk box. And this allows you to record the talk box without any horrible feedback. If you don't do it this way, it's you're gonna have feedback. It sounds terrible, so just make sure you do it like this. Yeah, that's that's how you're able to hear me right now. That's how you're able to hear me. Whoa, you hear me real good, real good, whoa. All right, but yeah, that is how you set up your talk box with Logic Pro and just to recap if you still haven't got it so connect your talk box to your audio interface connect your MIDI to your computer 
open up an instrument track with the ESM synthesizer on it, and then follow my TalkBox patch settings. Go ahead and save the TalkBox patch setting, and then yeah, that's it. And then you can play all you want. I also have another video if you guys are using FL Studio. I have my first video that I made doing this. It's called How to Use a Talk Box with MIDI Keyboard. I do it on FL Studio, so if you guys have that or if you guys have a friend that uses FL Studio, you can go ahead and, and show them that video. I'll leave a card up right now. Also, if you have GarageBand, I've done How to Use a Talk Box with MIDI Keyboard in GarageBand. And then I've also done How to Use a Talk Box with MIDI Keyboard without an audio interface. I kind of went over that earlier in the video, but if you guys want to check out that video, go ahead. If you've made it this far and you've learned something or enjoyed the video, press subscribe, like, share the video. It helps me out a lot and it helps motivate me to keep making more videos. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe for more.